Yo, what's good with y'all, man? In today's video, we are on Attack on Titan Revolution, man. Now, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how this one family made me unstoppable, man. Now, if you want to fully understand, watch the video so you are not confused, man. This will make you unstoppable. Just listen to what I got to say and really think about it. Don't forget to all that, man. Make sure you drop a like, subscribe, turn those post notice so you never miss one of my videos, man. Share around with your friends, too, if you did enjoy. Also, man, we're on the road to 5K subs, man, so subscribe, man. Join the crew. We got fun over here. Now, for that being said, man, let's go kill some titans with this crazy family skill, man. All right, y'all boys, man. Look, this family's fire. I'm not going to lie. For me having the bad luck I, I have, I kind of got one of the good families. But for the most part, this is not a shifter family. So what I'm going to show you guys is the passives and then what the skill is and go ahead and show the skills off and everything. So first off, the skill's called Last Stand. I'll show more of that, like I said, once we go into the match itself. But the passive is you get a 10% ODM control and 10% ODM speed. And then you get a 5% upgrade slash skill reduction cost. But the downside is that you can't shift. So I don't have the attack serum, so I literally have no reason to even care about that. So I'm good. All right, now back to the tab. If you head to over to Equipment and go to Skills, it's going to be at the top right here called Last Stand. When you click on it, it says Last Stand. Embrace the end. Cap that 40% health for 30 seconds. Ignore injuries. Gain 15% damage plus 15% ODM speed and 30% damage reduction. Be prepared to meet your fate if injuries persist after 30 seconds. So, to basically take this, like, to basically explain this, what it does is you, once you pop it, you do an animation. Once you do the animation, you go down to 40% of whatever health you're at. So, if you have health, you go to 40% of 50. Does that make sense? So you'll be at what, 30% health? If you're at 30% health, you go down to 40% of 30. And basically, if you have an injury already, I popped it and it went away. And after I was still alive, after 30 seconds, I was good. But if you do pop this and then you go around, you get hit and you have an injury, after, you're still gonna be alive. After that 30 seconds, you're gonna explode just like she did in the anime. And if you're not gonna, if you don't plan on getting hit, then literally you can keep spamming it and why would you why would you care about your health if you don't <laughs> you don't need health if you're not gonna get hit i saw that but honestly you could just have this just for the actual passives too like you don't even need to pop the skill if you don't even want to if you don't want to risk that like you know say like yourself dying like that then you don't even have to pop the skill i just use it honestly because i it, it forces you to it forces you to be better if that makes sense like the skill forces you to actually you know watch what you're doing make sure you're actually accurate with your hooks and everything and make sure that you're actually you know dodging the titans and in, in a good way so i feel like if you do get this family it's it, it's good to do it because it'll make you a better player honestly because i used to just i just pop it all the time and then if i die i die but i get mad when i die so <laughs> i don't want to get mad so i might as well just not die you feel me but yeah man and honestly the odium the odium control gets crazy fast like i i be overshooting these guys i'm not gonna lie Nope, not gonna give me like that. <laughs> not like that, buddy. Can I kill this guy? Like, hold. I, I want to only fight the big titans, bro. These, these, these like smaller titans be giving me some trouble. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Like, I don't even understand. <laughs> I be tripping, bro. But yeah, like I said, it's a high skill, high reward weapon. I don't know if I said that yet. If you got skill, then that weapon deal. I said keep saying weapon, but if you have a high skill, then this actual skill is not gonna be anything for you. If for you, your legs are gonna be like, okay, this is another one of them skills where I can get a lot of damage off and everything. Oh, he got cooked. Yeah, y'all. If y'all do like this skill, and y'all was like, you know what, maybe it might be good. I'm telling you, use it. It's gonna test. It's gonna test how good you are at the game. I'm not gonna lie. Because as you, as you get hit, as you get injured, especially once you put on the modifiers, because I got um, all those modifiers on, so I have like injury prone and everything, just so I can get more XP. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna really, it's gonna really test your patience. But I, I feel like in the long run, it's gonna make everybody a better player. So I feel like this, this is the most like, I don't want to say skillful, like skill. I don't know, but I feel like it's one of those skills that is like, you know, it's gonna really test you as a, as a player. Can you like, can you really pop this and not die? Especially when you play like not oddball but nightmare. Can you really do that? Yeah, I know I can't, but hey, you know say that's why I'm that's why I'm here doing this now. Do combo, hold on, hold up, be low key going in. Hold on, where the rest of them at? Come here. Oh yeah, I got a little flow going to me right now. Hold on, I like this. Ooh, no ODM gear, just slash this back. Come here, give me that back. I sold. <laughs> Yo, I be tweaking, bro. Come here. Give me that back, boy. Give me that back. Huss. Let's go, boy. Oh yeah. Down, up. Let's go! Oh yeah. But yeah, dog, like I was saying, bro, like this is literally gonna test you as a player. Like I have been tested and I feel like I've gotten better. I had to learn how to actually 
you know, use my ultimate gear properly. I feel like I'm sick. Oh my goodness, my bad. I'm chatting. But yeah, it's gonna really test you as a player. It's really gonna see. It's gonna. Ooh, did I get hit? I don't know if I got hit. I hate when I like that because they can still they can still stomp you, which is annoying. I missed. And I be going way too fast with this too. Like I could just do this and I'll still kill him. It's just crazy. Crazy. The only reason I'm still like this low of a level two because I'm playing this by myself. I mean, you can. But if I was like, if I had like a party who's on like, on like hard mode, I feel like I would have been way higher, but I don't know. I'm pressing two. I'm about to say, give me that. Don't, don't, about to say, don't sell me like that, game. Come on. Uh, what I got? 19. Only oh, got 19 of them. That's crazy. I didn't kill them. Oh, I was about to say, but I didn't kill them. I'm going to kill these guys on this side, and then we'll go ahead and, um, if I one shot like all these guys, I might just go ahead and just do it, but I can't. I don't think I can one shot this little guy. Yeah, I got, I got blocked. So, like, I found out, like, how I can really kill every, like, level of titan like well height of titan like the small titans i have to blind them just because whenever i try to do the little loop around jump i can't even like i can't hit them like i, I just i just literally just go past them like that or i hit their legs i don't know it's so weird it's so weird to me how sometimes it's like sometimes like i get them like that but sometimes i don't so i don't know i'm really trying to, i'm still trying to figure out like the best possible way to kill most of these people most of the titans like the big ones, I feel like if you loop around and then get them in the back like that, it's gonna be the best. I just can't do it right now because I suck. Or if I do this, it works. So I don't know. It's like two different types of text you got in the game. Maybe maybe with three. Like that one works for that. But if I try to do it on this one, I'm gonna overshot them. Like I overshoot them right there. So I'd be like, okay, let me just blind them. So I don't know. Okay, let me pop this real quick so I can actually, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there you go. Now I'm in my mode. Get in that mode. Get in that mode. Come here. Got him. <laughs> Alright, two more Titans left. 20% gas. I should be able to kill him. Should be no, should be nothing to me. Come here. Yes. Come here, boy. Hey, okay, last one. Last one. Come on. Come here. Blind him. And get his back. Boom. Oh, I got his legs. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, man, for the most part, go ahead and go get this family issue actually. Or if you did acquire it, keep it for a little bit. Try it out. See how is he purple? nice but try it out for yourself see if you can actually you know saying work with it and pop the last thing i'm telling you it's gonna really test you if you want to actually get better at this game and not be trash and actually you know what i'm saying kill a lot of titans <laughs> without any you know what i'm saying like difficulty you should be good just go ahead and get this one um it's obviously it's not one of the best but for its passives at least i would say it's one of the best just because you get that odium control and that odium speed which speed is how much by you know your damage is defined by how much speed you have plus your blade damage of course but yeah oh you can see the entry too in the in the in the lobby that's crazy i didn't know that but yeah man other than that man that's what he bought it for me man Blame more alerts and then mess up and i'm out peace